Hello, I hope you're okay. I changed my scenario a little bit. I'm sitting on the floor. It's a little bit more comfortable than I'd be in a chair. So, uh, someone here asked me about recommendations, fantasy recommendations for a person who is uh, on the eighth grade and start reading recently. So, I don't know if you start reading recently and what kind of books um, you are reading, but I would say this for everyone who start reading right now. So, not only to fantasy, I always recommend first, if you never read it, Harry Potter. Um, it's the it's an open door to the fantasy world. Uh, it was the series that back then, when I was 12, I started reading. Um, so I always recommend first, if you, if you want to start uh, in the fantasy world, start with Harry Potter and then Twilight. Okay, you can start with Twilight too if you like vampires and werewolves and a little bit of romance. Okay, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, probably you have seen the movies, so but you should read it because they change a lot. So yeah, start reading those two first if you want and if you haven't read it and if you already read this two series i always say to start reading with throne of glass from sarah j mass um it's it's a great uh series not too complicated and but it's implied a girl with a source and a sword and combat and like ninja stuff it's it's cool super cool i loved it i love all the series from sarah so she's a great writer so it's so easy to read to understand so throne of glass um you you should read it ah uh, i will put all the image here around me all the books so you can um pause and take up the names and stuff like that and next um, I always said uh, from Sarah J. Mass to Crescent City, it's so it's hard. They are two books, big ones. I don't know if you can see it. I will show you up there. No, it's behind the symbol of Hogwarts. There are these two books. Um, they are a large books, but I started the first one. Uh, I haven't finished because they start. Um, I started another books between them and I need to restart it again. So, Chris and Cindy, okay, they are great books. Um, I already started, but I have to reread it again. Uh, and then The Cruel Prince, okay, you can read The Cruel Prince. Um, it was there are three main books, and then there are two more books ab about the characters. So. The three main books, it's the more important ones, but you can buy the other ones if you want. I have them. Um, they are super cool, okay. And you can read to um, the Caraval se uh, series and uh, Once, a broken, uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart, okay. The, the Caraval uh, books are three and Once Upon a Broken Heart are three books too. They are, um, how to say this, they are connected, you know what I mean? It's like um, you can read Once Upon a Broken Heart first and then the other one, but if you start reading this series, the recommendation I give is start with the Caraval first and then Once Upon a Broken Heart. If you already have or someone give you Once Upon a Broken Heart, you can re start reading, it's not a problem because in the books they are explain everything, but the three firsts, will explain a little bit better and they connect the three of the first one and the three of the last ones okay so um that's the kind of i think it's a lot of books because harry potter there are seven books twilight seven uh, six or seven i don't remember well i have them here so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six. If you buy the box, there are six books. Okay. Um, and then um, Throne of Glass are eight books. Uh, Caraval Cities, uh, Caraval series, three. Once Upon a Broken Heart, three. Uh, the Cruel Prince, three. 
the Chris the Crescent City R2 but the next one will come in January probably they I think she will release in December but I think by Amazon um, dates uh, they are released like in January so there are a lot of books you can read it and I hope I helped with that and I think that's it <laughs> it's the the books I start first and when you read it that one um, come check me and say what you think about all the books you read it or uh, where, what kind of series are you starting reading with and uh, what books are you start with so let me know and for everyone who are watching this I hope I help you too if you want to start reading fantasy um, so uh, if you want to something a little bit if you are older than uh, eighth grade <laughs> so if you are older uh, you want to read something a little bit uh, different uh, comment I have a few books to recommend uh, fantasy or no fantasy if you want um, for you to read or for Christmas okay uh, so I hope you're okay again and see you next time